I remember at one of the darkest moments of my life, the uh, IRS had seized my business for unpaid taxes. And I was desperately trying to fight to get the business back, get it back open. And remember thinking, if I just could get healthy, if I could just get my body to keep up with my mind, I know I could become successful. I know I could become wealthy. I know I could become happy. And that's the topic I wanna to share with you guys this week. Hey, welcome back. It's another episode of the podcast. Again, I've turned on the a laptop for you YouTube guys. I've been getting a lot of comments, so you seem to like seeing the video version. So as long as you keep commenting, liking, and sharing, I will keep flipping on the camera and doing the YouTube version. Uh, but the topic I want to go through this episode is energy. Energy, one of the most fundamental aspects of good health and one of the most fundamental aspects of, of your ability to manifest prosperity. Uh, if you've ever been in the kind of state I was where you just you know, don't have that energy, you know what I'm talking about. You know how difficult it is to get up off the mat after a defeat, after a setback, when you're really facing a, a serious challenge. So uh, I did a post about it. Uh, if you don't know, I actually have a newsletter, uh, email newsletter it goes out a couple of times a week. Uh, every Monday I do called the Monday Mojo. It's just a quick couple of sentences, something to kind of set up your mind for the week. And then on Friday, I do a longer edition and I call it Friday philosophy, uh, philosophy with an F just to be cute. Uh, and I go a little more in depth on just something to do with uh, prosperity, success, self-development, personal growth. And I did one on what I called an energy audit. And my phone blew up after that. I, it really seemed to touch a nerve with people. Um, so I thought I should take this concept and put it up on the podcast as well. So that's what got us here today. The idea of the audit is you inventory different areas of your life because you're looking for how do you create more energy? Because people say, I just don't have the energy. I don't know where to find the energy. No, you don't find it. You create it. You redirect it. If we really talk to a physicist, they would say all energy just keeps uh, transforming into different types of energy. And that's what it means to manifest a prosperity life is you find ways to transform energy from external or other sources into internal energy for yourself. So I came up with one, two, three, four, five, six, six areas that you can um, seek energy, transform it, and turn your body, your mind into an energy engine. All right. So let's go through the inventory. So I'm going to give you these six areas. I want you to be honest with yourself because you're going to get anywhere if you tell yourself little sweet white lies to try to placate yourself or pander to your ego. No, be brutally honest with yourself and find out how are you in each of these six areas because it will transform your ability to manifest health happiness, and prosperity. Okay, first one I want to talk about is all the liquids you consume. So I want you to do an inventory for all the liquids you consumed yesterday. If we put them all together, would, they, would we say, did they provide you with more energy? Did they just give you some short-term energy? Maybe you were drinking like sugary sports drinks or diet sodas 
or cappuccinos to get a little boost for a while and then you had a crash or would we say that you just you drank a lot of liquids that actually depleted energy from your body second area very related let's do an inventory of all the food that you consumed yesterday and I like to pick the day before because, you know, I don't want you cheating, trying to game the system. I want you to get an honest thing. So really think back, okay, from the time you got up yesterday to the time you went to bed, every single thing you ate. ate. And really, uh, some of you guys should just pause the video and literally get out a journal or a piece of paper or another app on your phone and write down everything you had breakfast lunch dinner and every snack in between again did those foods if we put them all together as a whole did they add to your energy or did they deplete it the third area to take an inventory of is your entertainment or diversion diet so what do i mean by that TV, podcasts, movies, books, social media, everything you did that entertained you or, you know, just a diversion and you were on a boring Zoom call. So you were scrolling through Instagram on your phone. You're stuck at a red light. You're looking at TikTok videos. What did you do when you got home from work and you had a few hours to decompress? Did you get in front of uh, Twitter and Facebook and go doom scrolling for two hours? Did you go watch some cheesy rom-com on TV? Did you go to the movie theater? What was that diet of content? And then honest evaluation, did that content empower your energy, accelerate your energy, feed your energy, or did it deplete your energy? Uh, next one is your work. Let's look at your average work week. And here is, you know, think about like, what are the regular things you do every week for your job? Maybe you work in an office every Monday morning is a all hand staff meeting. And then you're doing evaluations with people, or maybe you work on answering the phone to customer customers who are calling in for customer service requests, maybe you're working construction, maybe you're waiting tables in a restaurant like I did for so many years ago. Um, what is it? What is the main part of your work? And then think of all those regular projects that you perform on a regular basis and then ask yourself, would you give it a positive rating or a negative rating? And the rule for this is there's no neutral ratings here. You got to pick, okay, the bulk of what I do, it's just negative. It pulls me down. Or, hey, the bulk of what I do, it's positive. It pulls me up. Now, believe me, I've been in both places, right? I was a dishwasher, minimum wage dishwasher. I have worked construction. I have waited on tables. I have been a landscaper, right? I have done brutal, repetitive, boring, unfulfilling work. I did work I needed to do to earn the money I needed to get by. And I tried to learn more skills, grow as a person, find ways that I could add more value for the people who would want to hire me. And now I do work that I love. I wake up every day and I throw the sheets off the bed. I love Mondays, right? I, you know, I usually work like Saturday mornings. Then I shut down Saturday afternoon, evening, Sunday. It's my off day, softball, friends, movie, dinners, whatever, uh, just recreation. And But by Monday morning, 5.30, 6, 6.30, whenever I wake up, I'm excited to do my work because it brings me energy. I get to do shows like this for people like you. I get to get on stages in front of thousands of people. I get to write books that millions of people have read. I get to, they allow me to speak into their life. But I didn't start there. I got there and I got there by being honest and really looking, okay, I'm doing what I have to do right now. But how do I have to grow? 
to get from work that I tolerate to get into work that I celebrate. So you need to really know where are you at right now? What percentage of, you know, because work is like a third of your life. If you're doing work that depletes your energy, that's really a dynamic that you need to deal with. And you're going to have to be even more conscientious in these other five areas to compensate if you are in one of those negative work situations. All right, number five is inventory your sleep habits. Uh, you know, what comes to mind with this when you go to, <laughs> excuse me, when you go to bed, are you laying in bed with your devices and you're on your device to the, you send that last snarky tweet and then you try to go to bed? Are you watching some uh, horror film or, you know, crazy show and then trying to sleep? What is, I think this is really important that you have routines. So I have a sleep routine, right? First of all, when I finish work, I have a charger station over here and my phone stays there. If I'm going to watch TV in the evening or a movie or some kind of entertainment, I, you know, I'm not going to watch some crazy thing that's uh, going to make me crazy, freak out, nervous, raise my blood pressure and my anxiety. Right. My my guilty pleasure right now is a show with Pedro Pascal uh, and Bella Ramsey, I think her name is that called The Last of Us. And it's this zombie uh, apocalyptic thing that it, anybody who read my uh, mad genius book, I talked about an ant that gets a certain fungus and it causes the ant to kill itself and then infect the other ants in the colony. Um, that's kind of the basis of this show. It's where uh, this uh, plant virus takes over human, kind of turns them into zombies, and it's a self-replicating uh, virus. Um, and it's so freaky scary. It's just nerve wracking because it Pedro is, is taking this girl across the country to try and, you know, find a cure. And so you see this poor defenseless girl and she's in all these dangerous situations with zombies and raiders. And it's like a very um, dystopian future, uh, but it takes place now. Um, so I'm telling you, my blood pressure goes up 20 points every time I watch that, right? So I'm not going to watch that at 11 o'clock at night and then try to go to sleep. I'm going to watch that at seven o'clock at night. And then I'm going to watch a Shark Tank or American Idol or The Voice, something calming, relaxing, fun that'll, you know, shut down that anxiety. I leave those devices outside of my bedroom. I'm no device for a while. I have some stretches I do before I go to sleep. Um, and I, I have a routine. And then I actually have, you know, devices I use that track my breathing rate and my heartbeat and stuff like that. And I track it depending on what I eat and how I exercised and how those things affected my sleep habit. Because you want to know what, what, you know, amount of REM, rapid eye movement sleep you get and what amount of deep sleep because that's what gives you energy the next day. So the more you can change your food, diet, exercise routines to get more REM sleep and, and deep sleep, the more energy you're gonna have the next morning when you wake up. Uh, and then finally, you probably figured out we were gonna go here, an inventory of the four, five, six people you spend the most time with? Are these soul-sucking negative people who bring you down? Are these positive, empowering people that speak to the highest version of you? Do that honest energy, honest inventory. Think of how the energy you're gaining or losing with these people because if you work in a negative place with negative people a big block of time every day you're going to have to counter program that 
with the time you spend with other people. And you may have people you work with that are negative, people in your family who are negative. You could be married to somebody who is negative, right? And you're going to have to do mindful choices. There are people, sometimes there are people that in your life, even family, that may be so toxic that you decide, I can no longer spend time with them right? Or you reduce the amount of time you spend with them and you, you increase the amount of time you spend with the people who empower you and raise your energy. So that's your assignment. Should you decide to accept it this week, I want you to really do that honest inventory of those six areas because it really makes a difference. Um, again, you, you, attract or you deplete your energy by your daily act. You see, I'm dressed very casual right now. Why? Because the second I click, you know, finish record on this, I'm going down to the gym to get some exercise. Um, I came back from a tournament last week. It was raining. It was cold. We had a 10 hour rain delay. We were literally finishing our game at midnight the first day. I got so sick, my energy was so run down, and now I'm, you know, working and doing this own inventory, building my energy back up. And I just know, man, when I do exercise, it boosts my energy. So that's where I'm headed next. So no, all these shows I do for you, and this is not me preaching at you, judging you. I'm just trying to share with you the things that are working or not working for me in my life as I work to manifest my higher energy, my higher levels of prosperity and seek to become the highest possible version of myself. And I hope you'll join me on this journey and you're working to create the highest possible version of yourself. So please like, subscribe, share, Rate it, get down in the comments, tell your friends about it. Go out there and be amazing. Peace. I love you guys.